on the weather front, we had a beautiful day out there today, Josh. Yeah, and if you are off over the course of the next couple of days and you love summer weather, you've hit the jackpot uh, as well. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people think of Labor Day as the unofficial end to summer. Well, we are not done with summer warmth, not by any stretch of the imagination. We have heat advisories, in fact, in effect for some for tomorrow that start at noon and go all the way through the evening. And there's a chance that everybody might have a shot at 90 degrees on Tuesday, even downtown Buffalo, especially if the wind goes a little bit more uh, southerly versus uh, out of the west. And as we work our way into Wednesday, summer warmth is just in full force still. You know, we've had three 90 degree days in Buffalo so far. The average is four, but the last 90 degree high temperature we had was back on July the 6th. Never hit 90 all through August, and here we go. You think summer is winding down, and it's just ramping up temperatures for tomorrow with that southwesterly breeze again right downtown probably into the low 80s but you don't have to go too far off to the north into Niagara County and Orleans County to realize 90 degrees and yes summer heat for sure for Labor Day your top temp in Buffalo at 85 degrees if you are thinking of uh, getting that boat bottom wet for tomorrow uh, the UV index is high so you still got to go slip on the t-shirt slop on the sunscreen slap on the hat and wrap on those sunglasses slip slop slap and wrap not too many times more that I'll be saying that. I'm sure southwesterly breezes will blow at 10 to 20 knots. And all the areas here in orange matches Taylor's dress and my tie. Niagara County, Orleans County, Genesee County under heat advisories. That means it's going to feel like it's in the mid-90s tomorrow when you combine the temperature and the humidity. So drink lots of water, seek air conditioning, treat yourself to an ice cream too. As far as humidity goes, we're in the icky sticky category for most of the week. This heat is going to last at least through Wednesday and then a cold front will arrive with scattered showers and thunderstorms and it'll be more comfortable by the weekend and temperatures will be back to levels a little bit more typical of this time of year. We've got high clouds out there right now mixed with sunshine and we're at 76 degrees. That gusty breeze out of the southwest persists. In fact, we just had a gust of 35 miles per hour in the last hour. Those winds will gradually diminish as we go uh, just into the few hours beyond sunset. There's super Doppler and satellite. A little disturbance coming through with maybe a robe shower. No reason to cancel plans over that. The sky is clear later into the overnight, and we're left with full sunshine from hilltop to lakeshore tomorrow, with again temperatures making a run at 90 degrees, especially into Niagara and Orleans County. So for tonight, we've got patchy clouds. Again, a rogue spritz or a sprinkle, the low temperature 69. We pinpoint a high of 86 in Albion with full sunshine, 89 in Grand Island, 79 in West Seneca with that wind right in off of Lake Erie. We're up to 82 in Salamanca. Have a check of that super seven day forecast. Roasty toasty times coming your way for Tuesday. In fact, we could be close to the record. The record is 92, projecting 90. Wednesday, more summer heat, upper 80s. Scattered showers and thunderstorms for the end of the week. Then temperatures come back down to reality, shall we say. <laughs> Much more uh, typical heading into the weekend. So in the meantime, just get ready to keep your cool. Oh, yeah.